This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we are looking at something that a lot of the guys out there who are doing their own thing when it comes to processing their meat need to check out. And I've got Robert Drennan here from Buffalo Tools, which of course a lot of you know Buffalo Tools makes high quality equipment that you're using everywhere. You're looking around your drop set, you've got Buffalo Tools somewhere. Robert, meat processing, this is something that a lot of us do on the side and you've got some really cool products here we need to check out. Well, we have our two most popular meat grinders, the number 22, the number 32, they're both hand cranks operated. We have an option for the number 32 with the pulley. I didn't bring it for this video. Uh, these are number one and two as far as the uh, top selling meat grinders that we offer. The number 22 is the smaller, of course, and then we have the big guy, number 32, for the serious do-it-yourselfer. So let's start and kind of talk about each model. Let's start with the 22. You're looking at the number 22 hand meat grinder by Buffalo Tools. This will help you mix your own meat and spices for a homemade burger, sausage, whatever your preference is in meat processing. It includes an adapter, one knife, two cutting plates, and three attachments for uh, funnels. You can make your own hamburger, sausage, bratwurst, whatever you like with this product. So now, Robert, how difficult is that to you? So let's say I've got I've got some you know raw meat and I want to mix some things. Maybe I've got a little of venison and I want to mix some pork with it, and I've got it chunked up. Now, is that something that's really hard to crank, or is it fairly easy? It it all depends on the user. I find it pretty easy. I find it fun. Uh, right out of the box, it's a little tough, but the more you get uh, behind it and get going, it kind of loosens up and it will really get cooking. It will really crank out a lot of meat. Uh, it, it, it runs very smooth. Everybody that we've sold them to, they, they have great reviews online, so we're doing well with this product. A lot of people are very happy with these. And, of course, it's cast iron, so it's, it's heavy duty, and it's really built to last. Yes, sir. It is a very long, uh, long-term product. You won't have to buy many of these. It is, it is a cast iron, very solid, well-made product. That's nice. Now, what's now? This is the twenty-two. Now, you've got the thirty-two. What's the major differences? Let's jump to the thirty-two and kind of give a little compare and contrast, if you could. Well, the thirty-two is for somebody that's going to be doing a little bit more grinding. The numbers refer to the size of the plate that the meat is pushed out of. Okay. Uh, the twenty-two would obviously be a little bit smaller than the thirty-two. As far as sales go, the thirty-two is more popular. A lot of people prefer to have a little more capacity, though some people prefer the 22 just because they're doing such lightweight grinding, such as chum grinding for fishing mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. The 32 is really great for grinding deer meat, grinding hamburger, really everything that you would like to grind, maybe more than a couple of pounds, you would really like to look at the 32. Yeah, because that's yeah, it looks just a, it has a little bit larger and again, larger but still cast iron built, designed to last a long, long time. Yeah, you don't you don't see a lot of these come back in returns. They they are a product that is built to stand the test of time and grind a ton of meat in the process. Now, Robert, if a person is you know has some arm issues, that happens as we get a little older. Is there an option for a, a more of an automate? Uh, is there an option for more of an automatic or a powered version of this? Yes, we actually offer that in our number thirty-two with a pulley meat grinder. That has the option to be connected to a motor and really crank up some RPMs, grind in some meat. Very nice. So it's an option for anyone. If they are younger and stronger, they can crank and grind the meat. If they're a little older and needing to have some help, you've got an option for them. The price difference also is less than $10 for the pulley attachment. It is a very, very popular upgrade to our already successful product. Robert, those look like some really awesome tools that the people who are out there processing their own meat are going to find handy. Where can they pick those up if they would like to pick to buy one? They are very easy to find. There are quite a few retailers, both retail and online, carrying our products. You can find them anywhere from Gander Mountain, Amazon, their Home Depot, Walmart. There are quite a few places that carry our products, both online, retail. Uh, you can find them almost anywhere. 
Wow, that sounds great, Robert. We'll put all that information in the description below so you guys can go and search and find it at your, your favorite retailer. Robert, thank you very much for your time today. Hey, thank you, John.